Hey, this is Brooke Hoover. I play in Surf Zombies. We do surf instrumentals. And I really don't know if I know that much about surf instrumental music, but we've made seven uh, studio albums and two live albums and played live for about 17 years. But still, I feel like there's a lot I don't quite get about it. But what I do know is I started with this riff here. That's all I knew, man. That was the jam. I knew it was Pipeline, but I didn't know the rest of it. So I think that might be a good starting point. Pipeline, I start with my middle finger and just... What do you call that? A glissando. I'm picking down, up, down, up real fast. And uh, I use middle finger to slide it down evenly. Try not to stop as you go. Just keep her going. That's the main thing. Ah, just stopped. Haha, <laughs> it's harder than it looks. All right, when you get down to maybe around the end, I'm just going E, B, G, B. And repeating, E, B, G, B. E is open, B, fifth string, second fret, G, sixth string, third fret. Back to B. So you gotta kinda know some notes to do this. picking down up down up and I'm palm muting so that's important the side of your hand touches the strings very slightly at the bridge bridge hey all right that's just one idea to get you started on a surf riff now I'm playing through a uh, 67 Vibrolux Fender and it needs to be serviced because it's crackling. Uh, so that's why it's kind of touchy with that volume control. No biggie, man. Now if you don't have a 67 Vibrolux, don't worry. Any, any clean amp is fine. It's nice if you've got some reverb. You don't always have to have reverb on, but if you do, just enjoy it. <laughs> Spring reverb is cool. Uh, let's see. So, here's let's look at the whammy bar. Check this out. If your guitar has a whammy bar, you got to be kind of smooth with that. That's how you know. Check it out. So that's the classic slow dip. Let it up a little quicker and then waver. Again. E minor chord. Or you could scoop into it like. Or. Just knock yourself out. Be creative, but try to make it musical and kind of subtle versus overdoing it. But if you really need to go berserk, you know, just go at it. But most of the stuff we do. It's pretty light. So I would learn some songs like maybe Squad Car. That's a good one. Uh, wipe Out. You're gonna want to know some like rock and roll rhythm, like uh, that kind of. That's handy. Also, if you a good way to start lead guitar, just think about Chuck Berry and go. blues style you know blues rock and roll Chuck Berry hot, muddy waters man uh, the minor pentatonic is a good scale for 
good scale for uh, you know fills, solos, licks, whatever. Try to think of yourself as uh, a teenager in 1960 or 61, 62. Got your first electric guitar. What are you gonna do? You're gonna probably learn a Link Ray song. <laughs> Maybe a little uh, Dick Dale. Stuff like that. And you can put all these things together. Um, you could learn uh, Surf Rider by the Lonely One, or uh, Lively Ones. Somehow we get through it, but uh, what else? And, you know, just learn your scales, your chords. Uh, dominant seventh chords are real big. You know, like an A. Make it A7. Add the pinky on the second string. some basic riffs, you know. Those kind of riffs or power chords, riffs, uh, blues, you know. sounds cool. Uh, know your minor chords. Or your relative minors. ending chords like a six nines gotta think ninth chords are cool you'll need those and you know again the Chuck Berry licks also string bending to play uh, in time. So, and have good tone. You know, the tone comes from your hands, the way you hit the string, if you just kind of slice and slash, it's going to sound kind of annoying. You got to make it kind of... kind of be smooth about things, you know, and learn some melodies like... So just be a well-rounded musician and kind of get sensitive to that kind of groovy early 60s beach sound and uh, 
you can do it. You just have to dig in and uh, learn some songs and uh, get your te get your hands strong, get your technique down, and make sure your timing is real good, and everything will come together. So let me know what you think. If there's one little thing you saw you want me to expand on, I'll try to do that. But I not, might not be around a whole lot this week coming up, but just let me know. Thanks.